श्री गुरु चरण सरोज रज निज मन मुकुर सुधारी बर नुबर विमल जसु जो दायकु फल चारी बुद्धिहीन तनु जानी के सुमिर पवन कुमार बल बुद्धि विद्या देव मोही हर हु कले से विकार जय हनुमान ज्ञान गुण सागर जय कपीस तिहु लोक उजागर राम दूत अतुलित बल धामा अंजनि पुत्र पवन सुत नामा चन बरन विराज सुबेसा कानन कुंडल कुंचित के सा हाथ बज्र ध्वजा विराज कांधे मुंज जने साज शंकर सुवन के श्री नंदन तेज प्रताप महाजग विद्यावान गुणी अति चातुर राम काज करीबे को इस्लाम एंड ग्रीज मोर्स वेलकम 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 बैक टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ पार्टन द इंटरजेक्शन आई एम योर होस्ट सुप्रीम एल I want to give high, high, extremely high honors to your prophet, my prophet, our prophet, Prophet Noble Juali, and all the active Moors. Activity is key. Active Moors. Here on Part the Interjection, we dig up information to divulge to the people in the upliftment of fallen humanity. And yes, humanity has fallen, 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 and fallen. But now we are getting up, and we're getting up in droves. A lot of our people has been waking up to the realization of being national, and being in a national state. And uh, that's just what it is. Nationality always will be, and forevermore, the order of the day. Pardon me. And we're going to go first into the reading of, in part, the Holy Quran, Circle Seven, divinely prepared by Prophet Noble Ju Ali. By the guiding of his Father God Allah, the Great God of the Universe, to redeem man from his sinful and fallen stage of humanity back to the highest plane of life with his Father God Allah. And here we're going to have uh, number five, if I'm correct, which I'm not a Roman, but it's in the Roman numerals, but we're going to get it together, V1, and I think that is five. No, that's six, I think, that is six, pardon me, and three, four, five, six, that's right, six, V is five. V1, 6, chapter, Life and Works of Jesus, or Yahshua, in India, among the Muslims, M-O-S-L-E-M-S. -E A royal prince of India, Ravana, in the south, was at the Jewish feast. Ravana was a man of wealth, and he was just and with a band of Brahmic priests 
sought wisdom in the West. When Jesus stood among the Jews, priests, pardon me, Jewish priests, and read and spoke, Ravana heard and was amazed. And when he asked who Jesus was, from whence he came, and what he was, Chief Hillel said, We call this child the day star from on high. For he has come to bring to men a light, the light of life, to lighten up the way of men and to redeem his people of Israel. And Hillel told Ravana all about the child, about the prophecies concerning him, about the wonders of the night when he was born, about the visit of the Magian priests about the way in which he was protected from the wrath of evil men, about his flight to Egypt land, and how he then was serving with his father as a carpenter in Nazareth. Ravenan, Ravana pardon me, was entranced and asked to know the way to Nazareth, that he might go and honor such a one as son of Allah and with his gorgeous train he journeyed and came to Nazareth or Galilee he found the object of his search engaged in building dwellings for the sons of men and when he first saw Jesus he was climbing up a 12-step ladder and he carried in his hands a compass and square and axe. Ravana said, All hell, most favored son of heaven. And at the end, Ravana made a feast for all the people of the town. And Jesus and his parents were honored guests. For certain days, Ravana was a guest in Joseph's home on Marmion Way. He sought to learn the secret of the wisdom of the sun, but it was all too great for him. And then he asked that he might be the patron of the child, might take him to the east where he could learn the wisdom of the Brahms. And Jesus longed to go that he might learn and after many days his parents gave consent. Then, with proud heart, Ravana, with his train, began the journey towards the rising sun, and after many days they crossed the sand and reached the province of Orissa and the palace of the prince. The Brahmic priests were glad to welcome home the prince, with favor they received the Jewish boy. And Jesus was accepted as a pupil in the temple Jaganath. And here he learned the Vedas and the Manic Law. The Brahmic masters wondered at the clear conceptions of the child and often were amazed when he explained to them the meaning of the law. And that was chapter 6, entitled Life and Works of Jesus in India Among the Muslims. Okay. And that was coming from Circle 7, Holy Quran. And we're going to go into our reading today. And this will be going in part. And we're going to bring to you uh, Brother C.M. Bay. Clock of Destiny. We'll be doing that in in its entirety, but in part on the computer. In the lessons, the table of contents of the Clocks of Destiny goes as follows: Rome. Pardon me. Pardon me, and we continue. Rome and Khan in the land of the Moors. 
the effort of the Jehovah Witness, also the code of the Republican Party of Rome, the alphabet of the cultured Moors, the KKK obligation, also see the secrets of the number nine, the sign in the twelve signs, pardon me, the sun in the twelve signs, the five sons of destiny, the Christian celebrative dates and world conflict three the diagram of the zodiac the scientific symbols of the zodiac and the dollar system diseases which medicine cannot cure also the scientific animalistic experimentation of the Asiatic scientist Yakub clocks of destiny one Knowledge of truth is mankind's highest attainment. You shall know the truth, and the truth will make you free. All evidence points towards the fact that had the truth been taught, there would have been no need for that great statement to be recorded in literature, especially the Bible. I am aware of the fact that the category of astrology global geography and history of the Moorish nation will conflict with nine out of every ten persons of the United States of America, especially those often referred to as Negroes, ranging between 20 and 50 years of age, owing to Christian education. Therefore, I concede that the category of science mentioned will appeal to the youth of tomorrow, those who will approach the ages of 18 to 21 by 1954. The restoration of civilization relies upon the ability of this group during the next seven years of global, economic, and social revolution. The majority of those now ranging between 20 and 50 years of age have been too deeply instilled with emotional religious doctrines and distorted history which has been written by prejudiced European American in parentheses educators during the past 93 years this group emotionally rely upon that which they have been taught to believe facts and testimony are not the foundation of their faith except in very rare cases these people accept without question and beliefs of those among them who they are born and reared and will disbelieve even the evidences of their senses rather than disband with the impractical, impractical emotional religious beliefs which have grown in them. Persons who possess the applied knowledge of the science of astrology always employ the terms such as science, truth, or facts, rather than the mystic magic terms employed in religious mystery, namely Allah, God, Jehovah, Jesus, and Christ. These five magic religious terms breed only false fear, mental confusion, conflicting opinions, and secret hatred. Astrologers are aware of the fact that the form mentioned mystic magic phrases of emotional fear employed in religious mystery are laden with confusion, mental slavery, human hatred, jealousy, discrimination, human caste, economic and social degradation, human warfare, bloodshed, destruction, pardon me, bloodshed, destruction and starvation. Today, religious worshippers have proved to the entire world that they had rather resort to emotion and human hatred and fight, suffer, and die over the name of the mystical God and religion than reasonably agree with simplified and applied truth, facts, or science involving their economic and social stride as shown in the 12 signs of the ever-present zodiac. Keynote of Wisdom In order that you might readily understand the contents of this book, 
you are advised to momentarily lay aside all that which you have been taught to believe, except mathematics. And as a result, you will be guided by common reason rather than by traditional emotional belief. I am aware of the fact that both Muslim and Christ teachers have been a monopoly on mystic religious superstition, but not on mathematics, the science of geometry involving the 12 signs of the zodiac, the universal law, Islam. Astrology and Astronomy The difference between astrology and astronomy is that astrology treats of human characteristics, talent, action, and reaction. Sociology, economics, and global geography or space and time. Astrology is the priest, pope, bishop, rabbi, pre preachers, duke, duchess, queens, king, and Anglo-Saxon lords code of the Christian world, of whom propagates the tr myth culture of heaven in the sky and hell below after death. The Christian astronomers are the stargazers who go to heaven by way of an experience, oh, pardon me, expensive telescope and promulgate that which they imagine live on the planets. Mars, Saturn, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, Moon, and Venus. Such philosophy definitely cannot help solve our economic and social problems. The real moon and sun are under our feet, namely Earth. The powers of the moon and sun dwell in woman. Pardon the interjection now. We just did something on a mother and um, first mothers. And uh, I need you to go back and if you want, really check that out. Kingdom Land Moors presents Pardon the Interjection with Sons of Allah. Great, great classic show. Pardon the interjection, and we continue. I want to say that again. The powers of the moon and sun dwell in woman. Now, you can draw your own conclusions as to why astrologer and astronomy conflict. Astrology erases all beliefs and opinions of superstition, confusion, religious mystery, f false fear, and idol or image worship. Astrology has always involved this universal simple fact, namely woman and grown sons. In the course of one second, can observe the moon, sun, stars, earth, and themselves without employing a telescope. Therefore, woman and grown sons comprise the supreme manifestation of the whole of creation space and time which need no doctrine of religious mystery fear and superstition to influence them to employ that which is right because the science of astrology woman suns earth water air heat and food constitute the great force of creation often referred to in science as electromagnetic current and voltage or atomic energy remember the human body and mind and earth contain all elements of nature we are what we eat drink inhale and exhale therefore all energy generates from our stomach mind and earth we the human family are the only supreme moving planets or heavenly bodies. Objects do not come to us. We go to all objects by way of walking, riding, flying, sailing, observation, mathematics, vibration of sound, and signal. Our code of facts, profession, and the guidance of practical wisdom comprise 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, back to 0 in parentheses, and 3, 6, 9, 12 in parentheses, the universal standard of rule of measurement and the letters of the alphabet. Pardon me. 
astrology is the code of the Moorish nation in parentheses our forefathers of this hemisphere who founded the universal order of Islam 1367 years ago and re-educated the confused human family thereby establishing the great civilization that the world has ever known the civilization in which we now live pardon me zero one two three four five six seven eight nine zero in parentheses three six nine and twelve the second the 60 seconds of the minute 60 minutes of the hour and also the letters of the Arabic alphabet all of which comprise the culture of the Moors our forefathers of the Muslim world who are often referred to in Christian literature as Mohammedans or heathens the code of the Roman cross order one two three four five six seven eight nine ten meaning in numeral, uh, Roman numerals in parentheses and the Latin or Spanish language comprised the Christian code of which was born out of our Moorish forefathers code in South America Patagonia in parentheses known today as Argentina the original region of the new masses of humanity who possesses ruddy or red pale skin with greenish blue eyes and long blonde hair Argentina Brazil Peru Colombia and Venezuela all of which comprise the springboard of the Roman nation of many different races caste and color guided by dogmas dogmas is a Latin phrase which defines as false doctrine Rome and con the true Rome oh pardon me the term Rome implies the people who conquer by intrigue force and violence and enslave the human mind through false doctrine of religious mystery and image or idol worship of various mystical God phases most common of which are Jehovah God Christ or Buddha let us un let us remember that these United States of North America comprise every so-called race of the lily white family the term con implies the people who control the board of real estate commerce production and distribution of the order of Roman colonialization which manifested with Wall Street in parentheses in Amsterdam or New York U.S.A and Java East India both of which are the headquarters of the nobles dukes lords and the duchess of Rome and Khan the jury over the wealth and culture of the Moorish or Asiatic in parentheses nation our forefathers who were defeated by the Roman conquerors after having undergone some 364 years internment conflict from Patagonia to Alaska Canada and Greenland having been defeated by the Roman tribes of South America they submitted themselves to Roman slavery under names such as Negro and Indian which resulted in the loss of their birthright in 1774 Christian calendar year which is equivalent to 1194 Moorish calendar 1453 to 1492 Christian calendar year is equivalent to 873 to 912 Moorish calendar year the Roman conquerors added 580 years to the Moorish calendar 1795 Christian calendar year is equivalent to 1215 Moors calendar year 1865 Christian calendar year is equivalent to 1285 Moors calendar year 1946 Christian calendar year CCY in parentheses is equivalent to 1366 MCY Moors calendar year in parentheses 1946 and 1366 have cleared up the mystery of 
the 666. New York is the Empire State of the Order of Rome and Khan, the lily white people of the world. Have you ever stopped to think that among the Asiatics of the U.S.A. referred to as Negroes, there can be had a similarity of every so-called race of the entire world? The land of the Moors, the crest of Asia, Peru, Mexico, Isabella or Cuba, in parentheses, U.S.A., Canada, and Alaska, all of which comprise the land of the cultured Moors, the descendants from the ancient Moabite nation, the fathers of civilization who inhabited this hemisphere. This is, or this, the U.S.A., Alaska, and Canada lie in the geographical region of the crest of Asia, often referred to as the Temple of the Moon and Sun, of which scientifically imply the greatest inclination of the Earth's axis to the Sun during the months of June, July, and August in the Northern Hemisphere. What our forefathers were before this land of ours, namely a Maxim, was named North, Central, and South America. We are that today, without a doubt or, con or contradiction, namely Moor. The name Moor is derived from the name Moabite. The crest of Asia symbolized the Great Pyramid as shown on the reverse side of the United States $1 bill of 1928. Names such as Negroes, Black, Colored, Indian, Red, African, Jew, and White are slave labels from the Roman cross order of segregation, hatred, slavery, and exploitation. The reconstruction period of 1853 and 1865 resulted in the un unite, uniting, or oh, pardon me, the unite order of the Christian lily white world of organized labor, agricultural, rural, industrial, and commercial unionization and military procedure, which made the Roman nations the mistress of the seven seas. The manifestation of the K.C. of KKK. The union of 1853 to 65 was the manifestation of the K.C. and KKK, of which involved some 500 million people of red or ruddy pale skin with long hair which comprise one-fourth of the world's population of two billion one hundred and sixty million. The Asiatic nation comprised three-fourths of the world's population and the European nation of the Roman cross order of Christ and Mary comprised one-fourth. Pardon the interjection, so who's the real minority? And we continue. The celebrative Magna Carta, Magna Charta of colonial North America, which granted freedom to the blonde, bound, blonde masses, and masse, French, which means in English as one body, and that's E N M A S S E. The celebrative Magna Charta is the document which granted economic, social, and commercial freedom and equality to all people of ruddy pale skin with long hair or flaxen, regardless to race label and religiousism or politicalism faith. The process us what governor-elect Tamuldad T-A-L-M-A-D-G-E of Georgia and Senator Bill Bow of Mississippi have reference to over the Meet the Press in 1946. 
the celebrative story of Abraham Lincoln involving the freedom of the Moorish descendants referred to as Negroes is played up falsely. The insignia of the United States dime of 1865 represents the staff of the Roman Axe. The United White Order, which unfortunately left uh, Moorish or Asiatic descendants on the outside looking in. Universally during the past 93 years of Rome economic, social, and commercial stride, Father Abraham, the god of the Roman Union involving the North and the South Pole, July 4th and January 1st, Lincoln. If you are skeptical, you might denounce the names such as Negro, Colored, Black, and African. Go to the library, ask for the history of the Moorish Empire, your history, and carefully observe the right, white servants' reactions. This is the history of the European American has taught you would never know. Nevertheless, you have the fundamentals in this book, namely, Clock of Destiny. The two empires during the past 13, 1367 years of the new era of Islam. During the past 1367 years, there have been only two world empires, namely the Moorish Empire of the Order of Islam and the Roman Empire of the Order of Christ and Mary. The Order of Christ is 173 years old calculated from 1774, the era which resulted in the birth of the United States Marine Force in colonial North America, the cream of the German Francisco or French legions referred to as pirates. During the Moorish world domination, there was no Europe, England, France, Greece, Rome, Egypt, Africa, China, Japan, or Russia across the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans. Therefore, United States history of the Christian order might be compared with that of the celebrative story referred to as Santa Claus mythology. Did you ever stop to think that on the most sacred day of the Christian order, namely December 25th, the Christian nations promulgate the world's greatest false myth, false myth of Santa Claus. Remember, December 25th is the foundation of the philosophy of Christ and Mary. Now you can, by reason, draw your own conclusion upon the white image, strange son of God, who lend death ears to hear your plea or prayer. Nations without a flag to represent them are dead nations. That is to say, their names are not written in the universal book of law, nature. Red people, white people, Indians, Negroes, coloreds, African, yellow people, black people, and Jews have no flag to represent them due to the fact that no such people exist. The entire human family comprised only amalgamated Asiatics and European. The banner of the star and crescent or the flag with the moon and five-pointed star in the center is the insignia of the Asiatic or Moorish nation and it is the mother of all national banners of the world today. The Moorish flag namely the star and crescent represents the entire human family. Some two billion 160 million upon this ball of mud termed earth it gave birth to the banner of the iron cross legions or the german tribes in parentheses of south america from which sprang the french banner and the banner of the stars and stripes and the banner which the double cross or eight points which represents the British caste, the House of Lords of the Roman world, Roman world, 
with all power political and commercial openly and secretly directed from the United States. E pluribus unum or United States money is a Latin phrase which implies one of many. One nation of many races and sub-nations of the Roman cross order. Anglis is a Latin or Spanish phrase which defines as English. Pardon me. Pardon me. The era of the English language. Prior to 1828, the Roman tribes of colonial North America were speaking various dialects of Latin, which are derived from Arabic, the language of the cultured Moors. The first English dictionary was published in colonial North America in 1828. Thus, the English language is the manifestation of all dialects which were derived from Arabic. The French, Spanish, and Italian employ practically the same expressions in mathematics. The German and Jew employ the very same expressions in mathematics. This tangible evidence has fully explained the e pluribus unum on u.s money, one of many. The history of the Moorish nation lies in the library of every state of the Union. The history of the Moorish nation, our forefathers, lies hidden in the library of every state of the Union and also in the library of practically every home of European Americans, referred to as white people, quote unquote. Therefore, the history of the Moorish Empire is not news to them for they have been guided by the history of the Moors under potent influence of fear and hatred during the past 93 years calculated from 1865. The basic reason why Asiatic can never become Christians. It is impossible for the people of heavy olive and live olive or light olive hue pardon the interjection the um, way the stuff is being spelled in here is throwing me off but we're going to get it right though pardon the interjection and we continue it is impossible for the people of heavy olive and light olive hue of skin commonly known as dark brown and light brown to ever become a Christian because of this fact the Christians worship a white son of God and his white mother Mary. The every image of themselves. The Christian God is definitely white or ruddy pale because his only begotten son is tangible evidence. You might ask yourself this question. What chance do I have to enter the gates of the Christian heaven dominated by a white God, his son, and his son's mother Mary? The very image of the woman who falsely cries rape, followed by sons cross burning and lynching. Such is the Christian nation's heaven, in parentheses, dominated by the white woman, the god of hatred, fear, crime, and corruption. On the contrary, there was a scientific reason for the new masses of humanity referred to as white people, end quote to establish the church and false doctrine of Christ and Mary. So let us observe the reason in order that we might take a broad view which will enable us to erase the hatred against them which is now dominating our nature. It has already been stated otherwise in this book that during the past 1,367 years there has been only two world empires namely the Moorish Empire of the Order of Islam and the Christian Empire of the Order of Christ. During the world domination of the Moorish nation, the blonde women of Patagonia, South America, had manifested their cultured height in the society of Islam, which qualified them to establish the society of the cross laden with mystery and emotional false doctrines. As a positive weapon of liberating themselves from the amalgamated iron-handed rulers or dictators 
who had shielded the secrets of nature as shown in the signs of the zodiac and established a doctrine of mystery and religious superstition by force. As a result of the following amalgamated generation of Moorish fathers and blind mothers grew up in ignorance of the signs of the twelve signs of the zodiac and the applied principles of, of Islam which is in turn resulted in the corruption of the society of Islam under the influence of Islamism or of variable unreasonable procedures of religious worship strenuous mystery mysterious prayers and the restrictions of literary education to the common masses the corrupt process of the selfish jealous amalgamated rulers of the Muslim world converted the society of Islam partner interjection human caste slavery economic and social degradation crime bloodshed and human destruction from which was born the army of the mystic banner of the cross led by militant white women or Patagonian blondes supported by many wise Muslim women and sons struggling for freedom Muslim women and sons struggling for freedom which resulted in the some 364 years of interment conflict from Peru to Alaska and across the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans in the Northern Hemisphere a great battle between two different types of religious superstitions namely Islamism and Crossism C R O S S I S M Crossism referred to as the great battle between the Crescent and the Cross or Muhammad and Christ the period of crucifixion lynching burning and murdering one another over ideas of impractical isms and mystery of variety which has dominated the world for some 400 years and has manifested with the pardon me with the racial and color scheme of corruption the Muslims with their strenuousism of mystic religious worship and superstition are not guilty of the establishment of the race and color scheme they are guilty of the caste system and segregation according to class and rank and method of mystic or superstitious religious worship in the institution called mosque from which was born the institution of worship called church and the race and color scheme with is or which is with its marriage license laws established by the Patagonian blonde woman of South America this system prohibits the insurance of a marriage license to Moorish men or women who desire to marry white women or men in North Africa especially in the United States upon this is founded the myth of black and white people's blood with which was born out of the church system namely the Catholics, Protestants, Baptists, and the Jewry of Jewish Temple of the United States in North America. Okay. Pardon me, and we're going to go to the era of the formation of the Roman Republican Party, 93 years ago, the Code of the Clans. In the year 1854, the white woman, in parentheses, often referred to as the Daughters of the Revolution, in parentheses, endorsed the Asiatic painting of themselves and sons called Christ and Mary, and established the new doctrine of the only begotten Son of God and its mother, Mary, by force, intrigue, ignorance, cruelty, seduction, bloodshed, and destruction. Here, the foundation of the Order of Christ was well laid in the Union of 1865. This was followed by well-trained missionary workers carrying the banner of the 
image, sun, and its mother doctrine across the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans, supported by military force of the Order of Rome. Thereby, the false doctrine of the white sun's Christ was established in the four angles of the earth. This enabled the white daughters of the revolution to remain neutral, while the white men subdued the helpless Moorish or Asiatic women at home and abroad, so as to, pardon me, okay, I got you. So as to per perpetuate the lily white nations of Rome during the past 93 years. The picture of the white sun, image, and its mother equal the power of 10,000 words in the name of the evil tradition of white superiority. When placed before the blonde children, ranging between 6 and 9 years of age, in parentheses, gave them a false conception of white supremacy before they have been taught to read which grows up in them. The 93 year old years old act of the daughters of the revolution has disqualified the English speaking white women at home and abroad to play their specific role in the new world order which is now rapidly progressing. As a matter of fact the English speaking white women have disqualified all other white women of different languages from playing their specific role in the new world order because they too are of the same shade of skin other words, the very same stock, the Europa stock, ruddy, pale skin. Today, it is the white woman's desire to tell the truth and alter the Roman system of segregation, but 99% of the Asiatic masses of humanity would not believe in them, owing to the long trend of economic and social suffering. This part of the story is referred to as a view of the promised land, but cannot enter. The generation of the outcast blonde sons and the subjugated Moorish women. Nine out of every ten of the so-called white people in parentheses of the world today have either black or brown eyes or black hair, which represents the stamp of the Moorish or Asiatic mothers. The people referred to as Japanese, Latin, Mexican, Chinese, Italian, Spanish, Turk, Indian, Arabian, Syrian, Russian, Eskimo, and all other similar island people are the generations of kinky-haired Moorish and or Asiatic fathers and Panagonian blonde mothers during the early rise of the Order of Islam, 1,367 years ago. The selfish act of the amalgamated Muslims brought shame upon the Order of Islam. Okay. Okay, we're going to hold that one right there until we come back because that's going to be part one of the Clocks of Destinies one. I'm going to come back and start that one. And we will do that one. Yes, we will definitely do that one when we come back for part two of Clocks of Destinies one. And after we do that, we're going to go back and go into Clocks of Destinies two. But we left off me add, the selfish act of the amalgamated Muslims brought shame upon the order of Islam. So we're not uh, totally innocent here. And um, with that let's go into that. Had not the selfish Muslims of the Order of Islam established the superstitious religious system contrary to the universal economic and social science as shown in the 12 signs of the zodiac and mathematics, 
there would be there would have been no superstitious religious order of the Christ and Mary. Therefore, the definite fact is that both, namely the Muslims and Christians, or Asiatics and Europeans in parentheses, of the entire earth are equally guilty for violation of the law of nature as shown in the twelve signs of the ever present zodiac, which has caused them to undergo the grim law of retribu retribution. The Moorish nation submitted to the grim law of retribution in 1774 and 76, and the Rome cross nation submitted to the grim law of retribution in 1914 to fulfill the ninth in 1954. This will accumulate a short cycle of 40 years. 1954 will make the definite end of the doctrine of the daughters of revolution, namely church mystery, the image of themselves and race and color. Civilization is founded upon practical wisdom and the morals of women, the Moorish or Asiatic women have undergone everything which could have been imposed upon them, yet they have retained their morals. You may compare the acts of the kinky-haired Moorish or Asiatic women of the United States and abroad with the acts of the European or blonde women of the United States and abroad, and thereby draw your own conclusion during the next seven years of global economic and social revolution. Thousands of blonde women and sons will resort to suicide while undergoing the seven years of economic and social revolution. The kinky hair women of the United States and abroad are the ones who will restore civilization and peace to the world during the next seven years. Geometry and the twelve signs of the zodiac constitute the prophetic law, which has never told a lie. The economic suffering of the blonde women of Rome, England, France, Germany, and Greece, and the mythical Palestine will fulfill with the blonde women of the United States, Canada, and Australia during the next seven years. Nature has a just law. It is the grim law of retribution, wishful thinking, lip service, wealth, atomic bombs, Universal military training and the wooden or stone image white god definitely cannot offset the grim law of retribution during the next seven years. Economic chaos will make the blonde people of the U.S.A hate the name such as white people. After the cycle of retribution had fulfilled with the Asiatic of the United States, the kinky haired woman began to give birth to children who have become champions of the world in every important department of human society. Remember, champions of the world do not have to beg for social recognition. The daughters of the revolution will end begging the Asiatics of the United States for social recognition. The law of retribution cannot be altered. We reap that which has been sown in the past Islam now with that we'll be back for part 2 of Clocks of Destinies 1 I just wanted to throw that one in there and uh, let that definitely be heard but we're going to come back to the part 2 on that and uh, like I say I got another book coming up that my brother gave me Omni L my twin brother Omni L gave me the power of birthdays, stars, and numbers. So we're going to be getting into that too. So, uh, like I said, we're going to come back with a part two of the Clocks of Destiny 1. And then after we do that, we're going to go into the Clocks of Destiny 2. For uh, Brother C. M. Bay, whose solo return was yesterday. And I want to give a big shout out to him. And honors to the brother uh, C. M. Bay. And uh, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, take it to the top of the hour with this one and I want to say thank you for joining me on another episode of Pardon the Interjection I'm your host Supreme L as always don't believe me go 
check it out for yourself and you'll be amazed at the jewels you'll find on your treasure hunt Mars stay safe stay safe family I love you Mars and with that being said we're gonna go Islam love and peace forever Mars <laughs> I, I, I know what Dirty Moors did to True Ali. I, I, I'm saying. I know what Dirty Moors did. I know what Dirty Moors did. I'm going to Dirty Rappers, lynching Dirty Moors too. Hiding literature that Drew wrote to warn you. They claim to make you Muslim and make you sovereign. With paperwork and filings, it's fiat, they rob it. They don't care about this words, throw it out like garbage. Or throw it at you when you're active, not passive. When they want to talk a bounce like off a trampoline mattress, treat them like a vamp or a teen actress. Get stabbed with a brand like a mean savage. This Inquisition divine, all of those average. Millennium Renaissance, heroes in our classes. Fed up with the Zark. Controlling facets. Ask if they heard about Mons, they say no. But Masons, they obviously know. Found the handshakes and rituals with skull and bones. They even know about owls burning Bohemian Grove. I know what Dirty Mons did to Drew Ali. I know what Dirty Mons did. I know what Dirty Mons did. I know what Dirty Mons did to Drew Ali. I know what Dirty Mons did. I know what Dirty Mons did. I know what Dirty Mons did to Drew Ali. I know what Dirty Mons did. I know what Dirty Mons did. I know what Dirty Mons did to Drew Ali. I know what Dirty Moors did Dirty Moors killed Drew I read the FBI papers On loyal Moors emergency fund rapers Moors literature and divine ballot changers Might as well say Drew Ali was born in a manger Prophet puts boys inside and his food smell danger Got me treating every Moor like a stranger Grand Chief Pornkin stumbling drunk in their feds What was proclaimed for every meeting was not read Some Moors are so active Prophet can't be dead Thanks Moorish teachers away I can't be led Actions speak then I consider what's said And what's said was study, then study yourself Honest to the prophet, love with Drew Ali I know what Dirty Moors did to Drew Ali Everybody wants to be just like Drew Ali But nobody wants to care about Drew Ali I know what Dirty Moors did to Drew Ali I know what Dirty Moors did, I know what Dirty Moors did I know what Dirty Moors did to Drew Ali I know what Dirty Moors did, I know what Dirty Moors did I know what Dirty Moors did to Drew Ali I know what Dirty Moors did, I know what Dirty Moors did I know what Dirty Moors did to Drew Ali I know what Dirty Moors did.